Hello everyone, welcome back again to Plax's uh, 3D Shallow Foundation course from uh, Theory to Practice. This is uh, lesson uh, 13. In this lesson we will uh, explain how can uh, we do symmetrical quarter model in Plax's uh, 3D. Uh, sometimes uh, we have, uh, for example, I wanted to show uh, this example. Uh, this figure uh, you see in here uh, this is a pile rough foundation model so uh, we can uh, see uh, the mud foundation is a square also the pile spacings and uh, diameters and geometry of the piles are similar in uh, each corner so we can if we can uh, divide uh, this uh, pile rough foundation to four quarter we can see that uh, there is a similarity uh, at each uh, at each quarter of the uh, uh, this uh, pile raft uh, foundation model so to reduce or decrease the numerical uh, time in plexus uh, 3d as we know for uh, a big model actually it take a very long time to run the analysis and uh, uh, simulation uh, that's why in this case when we have uh, problems like that and uh, symmetrical boundary condition can be applied uh, we can uh, just model one quarter of the model for example if you have uh, a problem like that we can only uh, simulate one quarter of the uh, model in plexus uh, 3d also i wanted to show you another uh, example in here in plexus also by the way by the way uh, this uh, example also included in the course and we will uh, talk about that and explain it in detail if you can see this model this is also it contains of uh, foundation uh, columns beams and uh, slabs but it is uh, uh, also symmetrical uh, boundary condition because if you can see if we take one corner for example in here uh, in here and in here in here so there's a symmetrical uh, boundary condition that's why for example maybe this uh, geometry or full uh, 3d building in plexus maybe it take a very long time to run the simulation that's why we can just model one quarter of uh, this big model i will show you also one uh, quarter of this uh, model in plexus for example yes this one is what we modeled before it is just uh, one quarter model of the uh, building soil and uh, other uh, geometry so by doing this we can uh, decrease uh, the numerical calculation uh, and uh, run the simulation in a much shorter time so that we have to select a node for uh, the curve also so the coordinates of the footing is this one this is because the center of the foundation and we click update and we uh, save and uh, start the calculation again actually i i wish uh, i saved the, this example under the different name so because uh, uh, when you, uh, you can do like that when you uh, finish from the full geometry after that uh, if you want to uh, uh, don't lose your full geometry uh, plexus file you can save the file under a different name uh, say a quarter uh, model so we didn't uh, do it in this example it's not problem you can do it by yourself so right now it is ready and we start the calculation i will also pause uh, the video to uh, uh, decrease the tutorial uh, a time tutorial length so again the calculation uh, finished for uh, one quarter uh, symmetry case uh, also again we save the file and we go to the calculation results we can see this is a deformed shape of the problem 
and we can also see the displacement and again we uh, extract the load uh, settlement curve data from uh, this case so we go to multiplier m stage projected deformation total displacement and use it so again we uh, deactivate the first and the second so we again uh, extracted and uh, this data to the excel i have already done again so this is uh, the results of the uh, symmetry condition or uh, one quarter uh, geometry so uh, our purpose uh, in this example was to do uh, the model in uh, both cases in full geometry case and in uh, symmetrical uh, cases one uh, quarter of the geometry so we can see that uh, the results are uh, pretty uh, close uh, and it uh, the changes starts after uh, when the settlement becomes uh, three centimeters and more because in uh, estimation the ultimate bearing capacity especially for the foundation uh, we uh, we assume that the settlement or the allowable uh, settlement should not be less than the 25 millimeter so in general the results are uh, close to each other uh, but uh, this uh, condition is not applicable for uh, all uh, the models in uh, this example uh, if <coughs> for example uh, the number of piles in uh, here is more than the number of pile piles in here or if there is a uh, uh, other uh, things in here like uh, a wall or a column but we don't read it if we don't have the same in here we cannot uh, uh, say this uh, symmetrical condition uh, in general it actually it is better to do it with the fold geometry uh, model but sometimes when especially when researchers do uh, a research and uh, they need to decrease uh, the calculation time because uh, the time also is an important factor for them that's why uh, many times they use uh, this uh, situation so this was for uh, this uh, uh, lesson and i hope it was beneficial and thank you for watching see you in the next lesson